Good morning, New Life. Welcome to our Friday morning devotions. As many of you know, during the pandemic, um, we started morning devotions and we did 365 morning devotions. Wow, obviously towards the end of that, we got tired and really needed to take a break, but we decided to come back with our morning devotions on once a week on Friday morning. And here's why. I want this to be a moment where we pause together as a church and just pray. Um, pray for the weekend, pray for what Jesus is doing, pray that all of us would be fully devoted to Christ. So every Friday morning, we're gonna do Friday morning devotions. You'll take note that we're sending this devotion to you at 714 in the morning. And there's a reason behind that because in 2 Chronicles 714, there's a scripture. And we all have heard the scripture, but I want us to reflect on it for a moment. Um, the scripture is, is that my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Then will I hear from heaven, then will I forgive their sins, and then will I heal their land. New Life, every Friday morning at 714, I want this to be a nudging of you to humble ourselves, all of us, to humble ourselves, to pray that we as a church family would believe that God would heal our land. And when I say our land, I'm talking about the world, I'm talking about America, but I'm talking about Seattle. I'm talking about the South King County. That God, you would heal our land. We have been through so much in the last 24 months. I am calling New Life to pray. I'm calling that we would humble ourselves and that Jesus would be glorified. New Life in particular, we're starting a brand new series um, this Sunday, the Apostle Paul, the Gospel and Culture. And I think it's gonna be a part of just healing. A part of us understanding how the Bible, we're gonna connect the dots between the Bible and life and the Bible, how the Bible impacts the way we live out in this culture, our faith. I'm praying that these next 30 weeks, that this will be a time, God heal our land, let us hear from heaven. Lord, help new life to be a church that we'd always keep the main thing, the main thing. And you'll see that's Paul. Paul came on the church scene and he said, you know what? The main thing is not all your preferences, but the main thing is the gospel. He says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it's the power of God for salvation for everyone. First for the Jew, then the Gentiles. Paul says, let's keep that at the forefront of our life, the forefront of how we live out our faith for Christ, the forefront of being fully devoted to Jesus. Let's keep the main thing, the main thing. And so New Life, let's jump into it Friday morning, 7.14 in the morning. Let me pray with you. Father, thank you for what you're doing. And God, we even pause. These last 24 months have been crazy. But in the middle of it all, we say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. In the middle of all of it, we believe Jesus is Lord. I pray that you would help new lifers to be a church community that would pray, seek the face of God, turn from our wicked ways, and that God, you'd heal our land. I pray for this brand new series, the Apostle Paul, the Gospel and Culture. Father, that you do something powerful. Ignite a hunger in our hearts for Jesus and his word. I pray this in Jesus' name, amen and amen.